Isaiah 40, chapter 43 and verse 16. Chapter 43, a verse from Isaiah 16. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea and a path of the mighty waters, who brings forth a chariot and a horse, the army and the power, they shall lie down together, shall not arise. They are extinguished, they are quenched like a wick. Do not remember the form of things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers the desert. The beasts of the field will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches, because I will give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. They give drink to my people, my chosen. These people I have formed for myself. They shall de declare my praise. But you have not called upon me, O Jacob, and you have been weary of me, O Israel. You have not brought me the sheep of your burnt offerings, nor have you honored me with your sacrifices. I have not caused you to serve with grain offerings, nor worried you with incense. You have brought me no sweet cane with money, nor have you satisfied me with the fat of your sacrifices, but you have burdened me with your sins. You have worried me with your iniquities. I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and will not remember your sins. Put me in remembrance, let us contend together. State your case, that you may be acquitted. Amen. Isaiah the prophet, seven in 750 A.D., he's prophesying for many years for the people of Israel. And <clears throat> this prophecy relates to the people of Israel. He's saying a word of God, which is going to be performed, which the Lord himself will perform. This is a comforting word, despite what God sees is a people in transgression, in iniquity, in sins, in involved in idolatry. and an abundance of sin that proceeds and only increases but God loves his people he loves his people under any circumstances let us understand this today that when no matter what has happened in our lives no matter what mistakes we've made no matter what sins we've committed God loves us He's got good counsels for all of us, regardless that we bring, when we bring the name of the Lord. He's got good plans for us. Many times, the plans and the counsels of the Lord for us are painful <clears throat> and intensely painful. They bring pain what the Lord is going to bring to the people of Israel and Israel is going to suffer a lot because they need to happen unless they happen repentance and re returning of the people of Israel will not happen but God prophesies he foretells he forewarns but the people of God of the Old Testament does not listen he does and call upon the name of the Lord to be saved he's wearied of the things of the Lord he doesn't offer the sacrifices that God was seeking from the people of Israel 
but is led astray doing what he wants doing things that God does not like <clears throat> wanted to do things that they desired the people of Israel they are doing things that God would never want to see his people doing and he's making a decision with his they are reasonable I want to do whatever I want to I want to do whatever I like I want to live my life the way I want to and God is sorrowful and he's sorrowful a great deal and not because the people are of sinning but because he has to intervene in a painful way in the life of his children and of his people just in case they come to themselves and to the senses like the prodigal son so there is a people here that remembers their former glory when they came out of Egypt and as God addresses his people he says here says thus says the Lord and dear brethren let us seek for the Lord to speak to us maybe it's the most important thing in our lives for God to speak to us maybe he will rebuke us but may God speak to us maybe he will scold us but may God speak to us maybe he will comfort us but may the Lord speak to us maybe the Lord admonishes us but may the Lord speak to us in the end because when the Lord speaks to us we, we need to hear and he tells us what he's going to do in our lives just in case we perceive paying attention as we as the Lord opens our heart to the Word of the Lord and he opens our minds to to understand the Word of God God he says don't think of the former things they're not going to they're not going to benefit you anymore don't consider the things of all how much I blessed you in the past how I split the sea when you were in absolutely in dead end and when Pharaoh with all his armies was following behind you to destroy you and don't consider that I split the sea for you to cross in that for 40 years in the wilderness I watered you from the water from the rock don't even consider that for 40 years I fed you with food the manna of the food of angels your past does not help you here don't even perceive your mistakes or errors but listen what the Lord is saying <clears throat> don't remember the former things nor consider the things of old behold I will do a new thing it will happen and when you because of your sin your transgressions your violations will be exiled captured in Babylon and your land would be desolate the one that was flowing with milk and honey it would, it would be reduced to a desert then I the Lord <coughs> thanks to my name not because of your repentance and your returning back to me but because of my love after I leave you for 70 years in exile I will open a new path for you to return <coughs> to your promised land and to 
the dry land. I will bring rivers and streaming waters and will transform the wilderness because of your transgressions. The land of drought, I will transform it to a land of blessing, it will be a much greater land of blessing than the land, the former land before your exile. I will do even greater things than before more significant things than before. I'll, I'll create where there is now a dry land the waters will spring forth and rivers will spring in the desert because I love you. And, and even the beasts of the field will honor me. The jackals and the ostriches because I made those for my people in order to to consider my praise and tell of my love and my work. Thus, don't consider neither your old blessings nor your old errors. Your old blessings will bring it to pride. Your old errors will bring it to, to disappointment. Stop looking behind you. And today, dear brethren, if I'm allowed to say this, this is a message of God. Stop looking back what's your past will disappoint you don't ever look back Apostle Paul says I forget what lies behind me once I forget what lies behind me then I'm able to run stretching myself forward in order to receive the prize of the upward call your past would hold you back whatever happened to this today will just tear you down don't consider it don't think of it don't spend time putting that in your mind hope in God who is love hope in him who says thus says the Lord I will do a new thing now shall spring forth <coughs> I will make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert for my people whom I love and because the fullness of time has come God has for Dane, all the timings of his plans. He never does anything before or ahead of time. Whatever the God is doing, exactly at his timing. And the timing of God is absolutely prophesied. In 750 BC, when the 70 years of affliction and captivity and misery will pass in exile thus is the Lord says to Cyrus the anointed king of the Lord <clears throat> I'm holding your right hand I will subjugate before you before your feet all the opposing nations I will loosen and a great secret I would open the doors that are out of iron and no one will be able to close and one day the grand grandchild of Belteshazzar in absolute safety in Babylon 
which was protected by really high walls that couldn't be captured by the opposing armies. The walls that were protecting Babylon were shockingly high and the abilities of survival were extremely high in Babylon. But in Belshazzar, he was irreverent toward God and insulted God. He took the holy vessels of the Lord that Nebuchadnezzar had brought from Jerusalem, from the Temple of Jerusalem, to Babylon. And before the concubines of the king, before sinful crowd, he, well, he insulted God. And then a hand appeared out of nowhere and wrote, Mene, Mene, Tekel, you, meaning that <clears throat> your kingdom was taken away from you and was divided. And I give it to you gave it today to the Medians of the Persians. That could not have happened before. But there were some who betrayed Babylon, opened the gate, and the army came in and that night. And then Babylon was subjugated because God may do anything he wants. Babylon was in absolute blessing and the power of the city on the walls but God had, pr had programmed the destruction of Babylon which was going to happen but he had already prophesied and decided the people the return of the people of Israel to the land flowing with milk and honey Darius conquered and Cyrus continued that work and hearing the word of God he declared the word of God as we see the prophecy of Isaiah 250 years before it actually occurred that event God ordered me to release the people of Israel and to build a temple in the city of Israel dear brethren let's believe all of us today God is doing things that cannot occur otherwise he may do things that people cannot imagine for blessing but also for cursing because he's a God of blessing and glory but he's also a consuming fire for cursing to belt of Sazer and but also blessing for his people as he returned them with a decree that he issued a blessed decree for the people of God. Let us hope in God, brethren. Let us not be afraid. Let us not be in agony. Especially let us not consider the things of old. Our past will lead us to fall away. But let us hope in God and consider the things that God is going to do and His great blessing, especially with the time of the intervention of God. And God is coming quickly. Fear not. Only believe. Continue. Don't consider the things of old, but praise God and wait for the mighty arm of the Lord, the stretched hand of the Lord, that God will bring in your life to those who hope the blessing in reverence with in godliness and righteousness so they can receive the blessing of the Lord to those with irreverence with sin with transgression with iniquity hope and the human abilities to those come sudden disaster because it is written and the scriptures cannot be invalidated when people would say peace and safety then on them will come a sudden destruction and no one will be able to escape that because no one is able to stay away from the counsels of the Lord 
today let us make a steadfast decision of the Lord like Apostle Paul what, what lies behind me I forget and I'm stretching myself forward to and run to receive the prize of the upward call the one is prepared for me from the foundation of the world amen